Okay, and here is then this my car's radiator, and there inside is this coolant, and and when this pressure becomes higher than this number in here, like in that car, where is this 1.1 bar, it happens so that this bar in here moves in that way. Now I'm, I am pressing that it this becomes in up, and then this water drains and moves in that canister in here. And this is like extra coolant canister. And, and then when this, this uh, engine becomes cooler, this fluid ca can drain back in this radiator. And this is, this is really interesting because this, this coolant really moves in this, this uh, areas and actually I said a little bit wrong because this, this if this um, coolant drains in this reserve tank, normally this reserve tank is always in same level, and this reserve tank coolant don't drain back normally in this radiator and coolant system. Only this extra coolant goes in that area. Okay, and this was this my information. And please remember to check always when you open that that radiator cap hat that that there is enough this coolant. And let's go to look what I mean. There is this coolant liquid in there inside. And and then remember that we can open that cap radiator cap only when engine is turned off and engine is cool and cold. Not, do not never open this cap when engine is hot and running because there is risk that this coolant liquid boils to our skin and then we burn, burn our skin. Okay, and now I, and then when we install that cap back, rotate that in this way and then check finally that it is fastened and tightened in there. Okay, and this was this information on that topic and and thank you for watching that video and have a nice day to you